All right, so when I scrub across, I should get this. And now what we're going to do is grab the armature itself. And armature should show up down here. Now, here's one thing that's going to happen is now I need to bind him to the floor. The problem is you can't bind him to the floor. I have to bind something else. So I might try binding the armature to the floor. But let's get him waving first, and we'll worry about that. Because what will happen here when I hit P on the keyboard um, in object mode, Okay, he'll look like that because I have this hooked up here. There we go. It'll look like this. And when I rotate around, see how he does not rotate anymore because what? He is now parented not to the floor anymore. He's actually parented to the bones. So we'll fix that. Uh, so on object mode, highlight your armature. And then down here in your armature, Remember that thing I told you a long time ago? What it was is the action editor. We put wave in here. Okay, wave is the animation. That means in here, under the armature, I want to add something like, oh, let's say a keyboard command. And I'm going to have to use Q on the keyboard. I was going to use one, but I'm using the emulated uh, number pad at the top, so it's kind of screwed up. So there, I'm going to put that there. So only Q is pressed. I don't have to push two buttons, just Q. And incidentally, there's a million of these. So you can even write your own Python script if you're that nerdy. So, you know, that's that's one of the things, kind of my goals to kind of, and I'm sure everybody's goals to kind of learn a little bit of some Python, you know, because that's just hip. So armature, add one of those. And this time I'm going to add an action. What's that action going to be called? Well, wave. Okay, and here's the action of wave. So this AC one is the important one. That one has to be called wave. How big is it? Well, it starts at one frame and ends at 80. Uh, is it continuous? Well, it's continuous based on what? Uh, well, it's continuous on me holding Q. So. I'm going to say continuous for right now, and I'm going to leave this on play, but just know I can have it loop forever if I wanted to also, because instead of keyboard, I could use always, and then I could put here loop. Okay, so that's how you do that. Make an always here, and that's under this. And if you got a, a character that you just wanted to loop without even touching it, and just go through its motions, that's how you do that. Okay, so let's try it out. P on the keyboard, cross your fingers, hit Q. <laughs> okay, sweet. Yeah, yeah, Academy Award goes to Jason. I know, I know. All right, now let's go in here and try binding the bones by clicking here and then clicking the floor and then hit control P to make parent and let's see what hell that causes P okay it still works <laughs> he rotates <laughs> so beautiful so you can just imagine Okay, now you want to see the really cool stuff. Let's say I want to share this with my friend, but he doesn't have Blender or no working knowledge of Blender whatsoever. In the next video, I get to show you how to give him uh, an, either an app file or an EXE to play with to see your character.